everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today we are doing another small shop haul. And I, ironically, when I looked at my small shop haul and the items that I had sitting over to the wayside for today's unboxing, I was like, huh, interestingly enough, my small shop haul for today is going to be almost identical to last week's small shop haul. Not even planned, but there it is. So our items that we have today we have a package from Stacey Travis, which is Lady Lathe Customs by Design. We have a sushi that just joined us. We have a package from Enablers Outpost. We have Pashi pins and Simply Gilded to open and see what is in these packages. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and break into it and see what we've got. So first up, uh, this is going to be uh, fairly pen heavy uh, because of course I like my pens and I'm a sucker for a good pen. So Stacy Travis, Stacy does has her stuff is done through her Facebook group, and she usually does uh, like some gorgeous pens. You get them through the, the lottery type system where you put your in that you want it, and you kind of number yourself, and then it's kind of like a random draw for each pen. And this particular time, I was fortunate enough to get two pens from her. So we have her card there, and she makes beautiful pens. I love them. I have uh, a couple of my favorite pens. And then she are from her. And then she'll do uh, some little resin things. So here is a resin heart. Um, there's an emery board, which I'm going to leave in there for the kitten. And some little uh, crosses cut out of, like, pressed out of a penny. And Sushi is like, I want the bag. Give me the bag. I'm going to leave that in there. So that way Sushi can play with it. We will leave her off to the side and let her play. And then we have two pens, if we could get to them, from the kitten. First pen we have is a hybrid. Ooh, 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 and I love her hybrids. Like my one of my favorite pens of all time is a hybrid pen from uh, Stacy. It is beyond incredible. I love everything about it. And this one, I was, ooh, I forgot that this is the. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited because I. It's like these have been sitting for probably almost a month off to the side of my. Um, yeah, I got these in February, and I didn't open any packages because that were not from my sponsors for my event. So I am super, super ecstatic to break into this because I've kind of, like, at this point, I forgot what I got from her. I'm like, which pens I want. <gasps> this is stunning. Oh, my gosh. Let me move the trash out of the way. Oh, my word. Look at this pen. This is a beautiful pen. <gasps> so it's a hybrid. Sushi, don't play with the trash. It is a hybrid pen and it's a little bit of a thicker um, slope on this side and a little bit of a thinner grip on this side. So you have two different grips. It's hybrid and it, look at that beauty right there. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's kind of got like this mesh work right on the inside. You're not going on that desk there, little one. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. That mesh work inside that is gorgeous, like rainbow colored. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. So the beautiful, beautiful hybrid pen for pen number one. And I'm like, so let me break into pen number two. Let's see what we have here. And this one, I'm like, that took way too long to break into. So I'm like, did I just rip and tear? Cause that, yes, I'm gonna rip and tear. Is a little bit different. Look at that. Oh my word, that's a, so fun. Look at that color, this like, minty color with the black and then the clear resin around it and you've got the nice tapered grip here nice tapered grip here so this was the other pen that I won and that one is just stunning as well so those are the two pens that I got from Stacy over at Lady Lathe Customs by Design Stacy Travis stunning pens I love them both they are beautiful and now let's see what we got from Enablers Outpost. Which package is this? This is going to be our March mystery box. First stone aquamarine. We have flower is daffodil or cherry blossom. And zodiac is Pisces or Aries. And well, we've got some pretty blues in here. And let's see what we've got. Ooh. So the mystery box, you're going to get a variety of different things that you can, ooh, those will be fun, that all the different variety of goodies in our mystery box. And uh, oh, these are, oh, that's so fun. Like you've got these, I think are those little squares that you put over the cover paper or over your plastic release paper and 
um, different like colors of those squares and you can do them for the sectioning and this is from Diamond Paint from uh, Diamond Paints uh, in November I think I guess that is what it's from but uh, and it's got the, so these are the section frames November Diamond Paints okay gotta say it the correct way November Diamond Paints I'm gonna put these back in here so that way I don't lose them with this thing right here November Diamond Paints and here's the section frame information so I would give you this is good for like really confetti heavy kits so that's one of the items there then we have a goodie bag of ooh a cover minder this is a little goodie bag from QB Designs can I can you move over so I can actually see what I have in here hey, don't try to stop chewing the paper so we have some candy oh my goodness uh, these are like the Oh, they, they almost look like chiclets for a minute. So we've got some candies. We've got some pretty stickers. Oh, those are really pretty stickers. So we've got some candies. We've got some pretty stickers. We've got, would you move? A couple of washi tapes, some pretty blue washi tapes. It seems like they're themed, all the themed. More candy. Would you, you can move your little face? And from QB Designs, we have this gorgeous aqua or this gorgeous blue um, octopus. That is a beautiful octopus. Just stop chewing on the bag, your little rascal. So that's QB Designs. So that is information for QB Designs. But that is a beautiful cover minder. We're gonna put the bag off to the side so she starts playing with it. And then we have Captivating Cock. And we're gonna take a look at our Captivating Cock. And this would be coming to us from Swartz Designs by Abigail Marie. And she's got some awesome caulk. A couple more stickers, a Stay Cool, some Monstera, Take the Risk or Lose the Chance. And always stay humble and kind. So here is business card from Abigail over at Swartz Designs. And she's got some awesome stuff. Abigail has some awesome stuff her shop and this is going to be aquamarine captivating cock so this is basically a putty um and it is going to be shaped like a gemstone and it is a nice pat of putty in this pretty blue color smells nice and subtle scent and that smells really good i probably should put it back in the bag so i don't lose it but that's a nice chunk of putty right there or cock a big old massive Butterfinger. Ooh, I have not had a Butterfinger in ages. We have uh, some uh, more uh, release paper. Uh, and this comes to us from... An, from oh, do not chew on the paper. You're a little turd. This kitten is something else. This is from Crafts with Crashly. We have... Uh, um, from Crafts with Crashly, we have some release paper. Oh, that's fun. I like, I like how they have it designed with... The Pisces, the pot of gold, the aquamarine, or the um, birthstone being the aquamarine. They've got it like themed with, oh, I like the cherry blossoms in there. So some nice release papers. We are not chewing on the paper. No, we do not need to chew on the paper. And they also included a QR code for a discount. So from their website as well. So that's from Crafts with Crashly, some release paper. And then you also get, oh, and then we have a little blue flower in here. And then we have our pen, which is beautifully wrapped by Elizabeth in this themed box of paper. So we're going to open our, we're going to attempt to open it. Well, we are not going to chew on the paper. This kitten, she is trying to chew on the paper. I am not having it. We're going to put these in here so the kitten doesn't get into them. Okay. No, we are not dive bombing it. Not happening. So let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. That is stunning. Let me move this because this kitten is not to be trusted. Moving it out of the kitten's way. This is a stunning pen. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous beyond belief. Look at the colors. I'm a sucker for, obviously, as you can tell, I'm a sucker for minty colors but look at that blue the aquamarine going into that minty color and i go with a thin pen so this is a nice perfectly balanced thin pen uh, and i like how you've got like this rounded grip here and then you can flip it around and have this tapered grip right here kind of like this like elongated 
grip. Oh, that is beautiful. So this is everything that you get in the mystery box. And each mystery box is going to be valued slightly different uh, because, you know, there are going to be, depending on who the which different small shops jump in to support these little mystery boxes, I find them completely worth the value. Because, uh, I mean, one of these, this pen alone is worth, like, um, if you bought this pen alone, that's $50 right there. Uh, and they don't charge crazy amounts and they have a lot of the funding or the money is what each of these shops charges for their different items so it's not like you're paying an arm and a leg for everything all right now we're going to break into our poshi pen and see what we have from poshi pens uh and this would be a pen that i got from again similar to stacy travis's uh site this would be pens that you would win so we have the sucker. I'm going to move all the candy so that way it takes up less space uh, because, yes, candy is going in the candy jar. Except for that one. That one's going to stay there for right now. And we're going to fold this out. So this pen is going to be, which one? Oh, that's right. Okay. It's got a little bit of the, the lint from the black it's a very, very, very pale, pale pink one. And I think this one is a color changing pen, but I don't know if it's a UV. I can't remember if it was a UV color changing pen or if it was like, I think it was a UV color changing pen, which I don't have a UV light in here to to like charge it up. But this is a really, really pretty one. Um, I need to get the uh, black lint from the bag out of the crevices. Let me see if I can do that real quickly with my edge of my t-shirt. So you guys don't see the black lint from the bag in the crevices. I think that'll help. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. There, I got the black lint out of the crevices and look how beautiful it is. I don't know if it comes through very well, but it is a very pale, subtle, pale, marbled pink and white. It is beautiful. I'm going to move this little bag out of the way. I love it. And it has two different, I you can choose which tips you have put in it. I have two single placer tips put in because um, I find that for me if I do the two single placer tips and then I can swap them out accordingly to because then I can use them in other pens as needed that type of thing but I have the two single placer tips put in and then I can move them around but that's what I went with for this one are you gonna move your little kitten carcass hey I'm still doing things I have one more package to open this is going to be my second Simply Gilded order that I made like within a week of ordering the last or the first Simply Gilded order. And that's because I needed to get the Year of the Dragon stuff and then they had their release for the Cherry Blossom release. Their, so I had to get their um, Cherry Blossom release because, I mean, I had to get their Cherry Blossom release. There was no, no not getting that release. So this release, uh, was like their Japan, uh, release. So obviously I had to get it. Um, and it, there's each day you can admire the moon, the snow, and the flowers. It's a Japanese proverb. So the card, you have your Japan and it basically, I think I got two cards in this release. Can I, can I have those paws right there? Thank you. There's a little freebie thing, another little bow tie freebie sticker. I'm gonna put that there. And our washies. This is also kind of like I think this is like their Lucky Charms. So it was the green fading over. And I think if you look closely, it was almost like Lucky Charms built into it. Or that's what it, yeah, there's like four leaf clovers. And then there's all the different colors for this. But this one was a really beautiful uh, washi. And I like to get the both sizes of it. Um, and then we have, I think the, yes, this one was also very similar and you've got like yeah this was very similar it's just in pinks so it's the pink lucky charms one and you've even got like rainbow lucky charms in there with the color grid gradations with the rainbows and the four leaf clovers and it's pinks and i had to get that one and then we roll into our um this just like a subtle blue a one there and then i got two of these ones because I, I couldn't resist. So I got two of the cherry, the, the basic cherry blossom one right here. Um, because, uh, yeah, I couldn't not, it's just a basic cherry blossom wash, washi, which I thought was a beautiful washi. And I like my cherry blossoms in all forms. So I got two of that one. 
And then I got two of this one, which is basically the scene that kind of resembles that card, which you've got your uh, temple, you've got your buildings, like your traditional buildings, you've got your uh, bridge, more of the tiered buildings, temples, you've got your Tory gates, temple, larger Tory gate, you got Mount Fuji, uh, the different buildings. Yes, so that was this one here that I got two of as well because I didn't want it to like sell out and me not be able to get it. So I got two of that one there. But that was my small shop haul for today. Relatively small, low-key small shop haul. But I'm pretty pleased with it overall. I think I'm going to go snack on this Butterfinger now because that sounds delicious for a post-dinner snack uh, is to have a Butterfinger for dessert. That sounds delicious. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I have some of these two gorgeous pens from Stacey Travis for Lady Leith Customs by Design. All of these lovely fun goodies from um, Enablers Outpost from their March Mystery Box. And like that is a stunning, like that is such a stunning um, cover reminder. It's beautiful. And like I can't get over the blues of this pen here. And then this stunning one from Poshy Pens. I am very like I want to try out like its UV capabilities now because that's kind of fascinating. And then all of these gorgeous washi tapes to add to my washi tape collection that I now need to rearrange and reorganize because my my washi bin has gotten super disorganized from the last video that I did. They've all just kind of exploded inside there. Uh, it needs really reorganized again. And other than that, I will go ahead and let you guys go for today. So hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.